Greetings from Indianapolis. My name is Lisa Whitman and I'm here to tell you that the parking lot vigils have ended. There is no need for any more speculation. The wait is over. Welcome to the live launch of exciting new technology from Beckman Coulter Life Sciences. Please meet the Visal Blue Cell Viability Analyzer. I'd like to introduce you to Lena Lee. She is the Global Product Manager for the Visal family of products, and she has been with Beckman Coulter Life Sciences for over 20 years, <laughs> which makes her an expert, and we're gonna be hearing from her today. So Lena, welcome, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lisa, thanks for the introduction. And thank you for taking time out of your day to join our online community for this live launch. We are so excited that you are here. Before we begin, I wanna go through a little bit of housekeeping and go through the agenda for today's live launch. We are going to be talking with Lena, and we are going to be learning more about the Visal Blue. Then we are going to be seeing a live demo of it in action with some follow-up questions to you. And then we're going to turn it over to you, our online audience, for some Q&A. So shall we get started? Yep, sounds good. Okay. So first of all, for those of us that need a refresher, please tell us what a Visal analyzer is and what it does and what it informs your customers and researchers. Sure. So the Visal is a cell viability analyzer. Um, the Visal automates the widely used um, tripan blue dye exclusion method for cell viability determination. Um, it provides our researchers with the answers that they're looking for, um, hopefully. That's um, important. Yes, uh, researchers that are working with live cells, um, either they're growing cells or they're using cells in their experiments. Um, it's very important for, for them to monitor the health of their cells. So the Vicel provides uh, total cell concentration, percent viability, and also cell size. Um, cell size can be an indication or an indicator of cell health. So some customer, customers do monitor cell size. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Thank you for sharing that. So a lot of the customers that you have are using your legacy product, yeah. the Vicel XR. Tell us how the Vicel Blue is different. So the Vicel Blue provides the same answers as the Vicel XR, but we are able to provide those answers faster. Um, so if we have um, decreased the sample analysis processing time, we've also increased sample capacity, um, meaning that you're able to load a lot more samples at any time mm -hmm. um, and walk away and do, do something more important or more productive um, and then come back and get your answers. Okay, very good. So a lot of these enhancements uh, are very specific to this Vicel Blue. Can you tell us where those, those inspirations came from? Yes, so all the inspiration comes from our customers. Um, we spent a lot of time visiting with our customers, um, getting voice of customer. Um, it's really important that we get feedback from our customers. Um, our customers have been really fantastic in providing very honest and open um, feedback, the good, the bad, you know, everything that, that we have used um, to design and develop the Visal Blue. Um, our development center, R&D group, 
has been uh, very thoughtful in taking our customers' feedback and in any decisions uh, that are uh, required always goes back to what does our customer want. Um, so, uh, you know, our customers asked for, as I mentioned, faster analysis time, um, smaller sample volume, and, you know, just more sample capacity. So we have um, been able to increase or um, increase throughput by having the sample processing time go a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So a little different than the Vicel XR, um, where when we do the sample analysis, the samples are actually continuously flowing through the flow cell. And so that enables us to process and take pictures a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about some speed yes. in just a little bit. So now you've unveiled the results. And tell us more about how the Vicel Blue can process more samples. Sure. So, you know, as I said, when we are able to analyze samples as they're continuously flowing, we also have developed a, a new mode called fast mode. So there's regular mode, um, which is still very fast. Uh, we're able to process samples in less than 130 seconds. Um, but in fast mode, we can go 90 seconds or less. So in fast mode, we require that an exact sample volume gets added mm -hmm. um, to, the, to the sample tube, or we'll have to talk about a plate in a second mm -hmm. here. Um, and, and in that sense, we are skipping a couple of um, aspirate mix steps um, okay. that, that would normally be there in regular mode, which helps save time. Um, and then we also eliminate uh, one of the cleaning steps, uh, which also helps save time. Mm -hmm. So instead of 130 seconds, we're able to go down as fast as 90 seconds, which is really important when you're running a full carousel, um, or we talked about that we um, increase sample capacity is important. We've added the ability to run a 96 volt plate. Okay. Um, so the 96 volt plate loading position is just underneath the carousel. As I showed, it's very easy to remove the carousel. Um, and you can run a 96 volt plate. I have on this plate here um, a film cover to help um, prevent evaporation of the samples. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, do yeah. you also, want, before you do this, yes. would you like to tell us about the carousel and some of the enhancements that have happened with the carousel itself sure. as well? So the carousel is a 24 position carousel. Um, so the Legacy Visal XR is a 12 position carousel. Um, so this allows you to load up to 20 samples at a time. Okay, very good. Yeah. So with the fa fast mode, the percentage is 50% faster 50 for faster. lab efficiency. Yeah. So that's like turbo mode. Very fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yep, okay. Turbo mode. Great. Well then, would you like? Shall we? Speaking of analysis, shall we run something? Sure. And have some um, see it in action. Sure. So it's very easy to place the 96 volt plate. You just align A1 with A1 on the plate loading position. I'll just put the plate in. Okay. So I've already set up the run, but it's very easy. You just pick the position um, of the well that you have your samples in, um, and then you can load the sample name, the cell type you want to use, and then select the mode you want to run, either normal mode or fast mode. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just hit the play here, and you can see. Uh, the instrument's able to access every single position um, of a 96 volt plate. It's very, very clever. Mm -hmm. uh, our engineers are very clever. <laughs> Let's talk about clever. One of the other enhancements is to the touch screen itself and yeah. some of the things that are happening with that. Yes, so the software application um, is on a touch screen display. Um, every, um, the, the screens that uh, enable you to start a run or start a queue is all on the home page and everything is accessible from the home page. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we really try to make it very easy and, and user friendly. And some of the other enhancements that, and we're going to be talking about some of those as well, but software enhancements and how that's uh, for um, data, for consistency right. for compliance talk right. about that a so little bit. Um, again based on you know feedback from our customers mm -hmm. um, data integrity uh, is very important um, to them to be compliant uh, so we have increased our data integrity tools our security features mm -hmm. uh, with the software um, it is running on Windows 10 64 bit okay. which mm -hmm. is also important for our customers mm -hmm. right now and how does this uh, Visal blue um, correlate with your legacy? So it correlates very well. Uh, we spent a lot of time, a lot of um, experiments to ensure that they correlate because mm -hmm. we know it's important to our customers that the legacy instrument and new instrument give the same answers. 
so we will be um, providing application notes demonstrating uh, the comparability and also guidelines on how um, our customers can transition cell types mm -hmm. from the legacy model to okay. the new model. And should we also discuss bench space, reagent uh, yeah. information, anything else when it comes to some of the other enhancements? Yeah, so as you can see, you know, the monitor, the computer is completely um, built into the instrument, so we're saving um, a lot of bench space. Um, because of that, but the other part is that the reagents and the waste are all accessible from the front. So Whereas you can they see used to be they, in on the legacy, legacy model. Over here. Yes, correct. In the mm -hmm. legacy model, everything was accessible from the um, the right hand side, so you had to have enough clearance space mm -hmm. um, to access the reagents and things. Um, but here you can see the waste is from the front, the reagent is from the front. So everything um, should be much easier to use. Okay, and you also talked about um, some enhancements that have been done for um, potential clean rooms and things like that. Yes, so our reagent pack now is, um, is all enclosed in plastic. Uh, so this is um, very important for uh, our clean room customers where you know paper, cardboard is very bad, <laughs> anything mm -hmm. that could potentially um, introduce particles into the environment. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So um, we've talked about how this correlates with your legacy product. We've talked about the reagent pack. Anything else that you think is important to know about the enhancements um, or sample sizes, things like that, that you have available? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, all, all the top items that the customers have asked for, you know, we really uh, focused on um, the speed. The sample volume, 200 microliters, mm -hmm. minimum 170 if you're running fast mode. Um, the increase in sample capacity, uh, data integrity, increase with security tools, and just the ease of use. And there's a single use capability yes. as well. Yes, so um, the other important um, feature that the customer, our customers have asked for is better instrument to instrument repeatability. They've listened to yes, you we've <laughs> and implemented all of them. Hopefully we've listened very well. Uh -huh. um, but many of our customers have multiple cells in the lab and so they want mm -hmm. to be able to walk up and trust any instrument. So uh, we've improved the way that we uh, calculate the concentration offset for each of the instruments. And one of the ways we've done that is through our um, our concentration controls. So we've developed um, these single-use load-and-go controls. So there's 200 microliters in these mm -hmm. vials. Uh, we have various ranges from half million, two million, four million, or 10 million concentration control values. Um, they're used for setting the concentration offset, but then they're also used for uh, running QC runs mm -hmm. as a daily uh, monitoring tool to um, ensure the performance of your instrument. So efficiency and compliance are very top of mind as well as just creating a, an easy workflow, yes. a simplified yep. workflow. Yep. Terrific. Yeah, we want, want to make sure our customers trust the instrument. That's very apparent. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you ready to take some questions from our online audience? Yes, yeah, Okay, good. let's see what we have. Our lab recently purchased a new Vicel XR. Can we trade it in for a Vicel Blue? Yes. So. Um, at the end of this live stream, uh, you'll see a link uh, where you can um, select to ask for a quote or a demo. Okay. Um, and through that, you can have your sales representative contact you and they'll be able to write, provide you um, different options um, on how to trade up to the Vicel Blue. Excellent. The next question is, do I need to accurately pipette 200 microliters of the sample? Right, the answer is, is no. Um, for a 200 microliter in the regular mode, um, the Vicel Blue will aspirate the correct volume um, of that sample uh, to, to then you know, dilute with Tripan Blue. So you know, we, we asked 20 plus or minus 20 microliters, but it doesn't have to be so accurate. Okay, yeah. and you will have some resources on this new analyzer uh, that they can access as well. Yes, we'll have a lot of different application notes available. Um, and also, you know, when you do request a demo, um, we're also planning to uh, lunch and learn seminars at your mm -hmm. site. So we're, we're really happy to prov provide as much information as we can on, on our new Terrific. instrument. Terrific, thank you to our online audience for asking these questions. Thank you to our online audience for tuning in today. Thank you to Lena thank for answering you. these questions. Anything final that you'd no, like to let you, them know? Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. And um, thank you, everyone, for your time and joining us in this uh, first live launch we've done. It's been really exciting. Um, and yeah, please stick around for um, information at the end of this live stream. As I said, there's the link 
um, to request a demo or a quote, and then also you'll see a list of events where the Viso Blue will be displayed, um, where you can come in and see it live. Terrific. Thank you for joining us for Beckman Coulter Life Sciences' live launch of the Viso Blue.